Hey Artland, how's it going? So in honor of Earth Day coming up, I want to show you guys how to draw some endangered species. And today I'm gonna to show you guys how to draw the silverback gorilla. Now to start off with our gorilla, we're gonna start with the eyes. So I'm gonna start right about here and I'm gonna draw a line that's just gonna kind of curve down and then it's just gonna kind of curve back up. They always have that kind of like really stern looking eyebrow. Now, starting here, I'm just going to add a little circle on this side, or a little oval, I should say, and then another one right over here. Then right here, I'm just going to add a little line. It's just going to kind of curve down. And then right here, I want to make the nose. So to draw the nose, I'm just going to make a line. It's just going to kind of curve around like this, and I'm going to leave some space and make another one right there. Then right in here, I'm going to add a little curved line like this, and then a little curved line that kind of goes down like that, kind of like two little hook shapes. Then starting here, I'm going to make a line that's just going to kind of curve down. It's going to kind of go around, and then right up to here. I'm going to add another little line that just kind of curves right around here for the lip. And then for the chin, I'm going to make a line that's just going to kind of curve down, and then I'm just going to kind of curve in like this. Then I'm just going to kind of take this line and kind of bring it up to here. And then I'm going to add a little curve line on this side. Now, starting here, I'm going to add a line that's just going to kind of curve up. It's going to go around, and then it's going to come down like this. And then right up here, I'm going to add a line that's just going to kind of curve up for the head. Then right here, I'm going to make a line that just kind of goes up, and then it's just going to kind of curve down like this. Then right here, I'm going to make kind of like a zigzag line just to make it look like it's kind of furry for the side of the face. And then right here, I'm going to do kind of the same thing, just kind of curve up to here. Then right here, I'm just going to add a little kind of curve shape for the ear. And then I'm going to put another one right over there. Now, starting here, I'm just going to draw a line that's just going to kind of curve down, and then it's just going to kind of go out like this. And then right here, I'm going to make a line that's just going to kind of curve around, just like that, kind of give out the shape of the body. Now, right here, we want to add the arms. So gorillas have these really, really big arms. So. I'm going to start the arm up here, so we're just going to make a line that's just going to kind of curve around. And that's just going to kind of come down. It's going to go in and then out like this. Then starting right here, I'm going to draw a line that's going to go down. And it's just going to kind of curve out like this. And then when I get down here, I'm going to add the knuckles. So I'm going to draw a line that goes up and down. Another one kind of goes down and back up. One more right here. And then I'm just going to kind of curve it right to here. Now, starting over here, I'm just going to draw the same thing. So I'm going to kind of start up here, draw a line that just kind of curves down. It's going to go in, it's going to go out, and it's just going to come right to here. And then I'm just going to make kind of like a little bump that just kind of goes around and curves back for the thumb. And then I'm just going to add a couple little kind of curved lines. Now right here I'm just going to add a line that's just going to kind of curve back for the finger. Then 
Then starting here, I'm going to make a line that's just going to kind of curve down, and that's just going to kind of come up. Then right here, I'm just going to draw a line that's just going to kind of go down, and that's going to kind of angle back. And then I want to make the feet. So to draw the feet, you just want to draw a line that just kind of goes out and then kind of curves back. And I'm just going to do this a few more times just for some toes. Then I'm going to make a line that's just going to kind of go up and then it's just going to run right into here. Then right here I'm just going to draw a line that's just going to kind of go down. And I'm just going to kind of do the same thing, just kind of add some toes. And here's our basic shape of our mountain gorilla or our silverback mountain gorilla, I should say. So now we just want to add some different details onto here. So first thing I'm going to add is a couple of little lines underneath the eyes. And then I'm also going to give him some pupils. I'm going to add kind of like an extra little line right down here. And then kind of two long lines right there. Then I'm going to add maybe a couple more lines by the eyes. And then a little line or two right here by the nose. I'm going to kind of bring these lines down a little bit. Then I'm going to add a couple little extra lines kind of right along the forehead here. I'm going to add kind of like a little broken line right there by the head. And then just kind of like a couple little extra lines right around the body. Then I'm going to add just some extra little kind of long lines right around here just to kind of show where there's going to be some a lot of fur and hair. I'm not going to put too much in here because we'll do a lot of that when we color it in. We'll just kind of add a few extra little lines right around here. Kind of do the same thing here just to kind of add some hair and texture. Kind of add some extra ones just right around here. I'm going to do the same thing kind of right along the body just so we can kind of see where there's, they're kind of furry and hairy. Put some extra lines right around the face here. Put some over here on this side as well. And then I'm just going to kind of add some of these quick little curved lines over here. And I can even put some on the face up here by the head. Some going down here. And then I'm also going to add just some quick little curved lines around the stomach. And then maybe like a couple lines or two right here. And there you go. There is your drawing of a silverback gorilla. I'm going to fast forward and start coloring this. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed.